Hi, I'm Mike Mahan from SMA America's Solar Academy. In the tech tip today, we're going to talk about using Sunny Explorer, SMA's free Windows-based software for commissioning WebConnect inverters. Sunny Explorer can be downloaded for free from SMA America's website. Simply go to the Products tab and then the Monitoring and Control. Once you've downloaded and installed Sunny Explorer, all you need to do is plug in your laptop directly with an Ethernet cable to the WebConnect module in the inverter on one of the open ports. Sunny Explorer is not data logging software. It is most useful as a commissioning tool. To get the most out of it, however, it is best if the inverter has DC and AC power on. Let's walk through the steps of how to use Sunny Explorer to connect to the inverter. If this is the first time using Sunny Explorer to connect to the inverter, simply choose Enter a New Plant and Enter a Plant Name. And then click Next. On Communication Type, choose Speedwire instead of Bluetooth and click Next. The program will go out on the local area network and find all SMA inverters. All of the identified inverters will be shown in the Plants Found list. You can click on the plus sign to expand the list. Simply click on the device you wish to connect to and click Next. Now we're ready to log into the inverter. You see the default passwords for the user and the installer level access. We will choose installer level access. That's most common. We have already changed the password, so we'll enter the correct password. Here we have the home screen of Sunny Explorer. All of the inverters identified will be shown in the plant tree on the left, but we see first an overview of the whole plant. This is useful for a system with multiple inverters. You can see quickly the status of all of the inverters, if they're all OK or if any have warnings or errors. If we click on an individual inverter, we will see the data for that specific inverter. But let's go back to the overall plant. If a change is to be made to all the devices in the plant, it's best to choose the plant and then make the change. Here we're in the Settings tab, and I'm going to go to User Rights to change the password for the plant. When choosing a password, choose a password up to 12 characters, and the program will actually show you the strength of the password you're choosing. Confirm the password, and make sure to click Save to store it. If you wish to change a password for an individual inverter, click on the inverter in the plant tree list. You can see that we've simply swapped over to the settings for the individual inverter here. A common request is to change the name of a device to make it actually make more sense if someone else logs into the plant. The inverter name is listed under the Type Label tab. Click Edit to be able to change the name and enter a name that makes more sense. The default name will have part of the serial number and the device type. Notice also in this tab you'll see the firmware version and the serial number, the full serial number for this device. If the inverter is installed in a location where the utility requests that parameters be changed from the normal testing standard values, the Grid Monitoring tab is where those changes would be made. Please note that all the parameters that relate to grid interaction show the wrench icon to the right. That indicates that a grid guard code is required to make the change. To enter a grid guard code, under the Options tab at the top left, select SMA Grid Guard and enter your code and click OK. If you have successfully entered a valid grid guard code, you will see the wrench icon appear next to the inverter name in the plant tree. The Events tab reports information, warnings, and errors reported from the inverter, and you can actually choose which type of messages you wish to see in the history list. Sunny Explorer is very useful as a commissioning tool. If an installer wants to verify the DC or AC values that the inverter is seeing, it's very easy to see that on the Spot Values tab. I've selected the inverter in the plant tree list and chosen the Spot Values tab. So now I can open the DC side tab, and you'll notice that we have current and voltages on the DC side reported for both input channel A and input channel B. Those are the two tracking channels for this dual channel inverter. Similarly, the AC side tab will show what the inverter is seeing on the AC side. We can see grid frequency as well as power and line 1 and line 2 currents and voltages. Much of this information, such as the current and voltages on the DC side, are also reported on the display of the inverter. And finally, to investigate any additional properties of Sunny Explorer, if you click on the question mark in the top right, that will open the user manual for Sunny Explorer. Once you're finished using Sunny Explorer, simply go to the File menu and choose Exit. To learn more about Sunny Explorer or WebConnect, 
please visit our website, sma-america.com. I'm Mike Mahan for SMA Solar Academy. Thanks for joining us.